Hello and welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena Run. Well, we're down to this one and one more deck after this. So this would be the last of the decks that are not quite uh, that don't quite fit into Guilds of Ravnica. Actually, this is probably the one deck that seems to have been doing quite fine on its own, actually, even without any support from Guilds of Ravnica. It's the White Black Life Gain deck. We will see a lot of things. We will see uh, Life Gain pay off. We will see tons of vampires. We'll see many ways to take this deck around. In fact, there are pro other directions we could take it. I'll, admittedly, I am not sure this time because actually the past few weeks I've been a little bit more, a little bit busy. This time I am definitely busy. But you can take a look at um, some of the deck techs I've done in the back in the closed beta with the other white black deck. That one was definitely vampire centric. This one I'll probably try to focus on the life gain package. But without further ado, let's go take a look at that deck. So that's a huge wild card, but that's not part of it. In fact, a bit disappointing in the sense that we don't get any big. Mi I don't even. Oh yeah, we do have one big mythic here. This is pretty much the. This this is pretty much the um, big payoff that. Let's be honest. Um, we're not too dependent on. We're more of depending on the Ajani's Pride Meat payoff. There is a Paladin of Atonement that's also a decent payoff. We also have two Epicures of Blood that's also a decent payoff. The, the idea is that um, we play creatures, they will incidentally gain us life. It will also incidentally make some of our creatures better. And otherwise, we're very, very much straight aggro. Uh, now, that said, we have a lot of creatures with lifelink, like Bishop Soldier. Other, otherwise, they come in with life with um big um loot box of life well this one's guaranteed to be a four sky march blood letter um pink drains our opponent for one that's still life gain leonin war leader army in a can sanctum seeker turns our vampires into sky march blood letters without the flying vampire sovereign also a big drain life package pretty decent as a flyer too herald of fate um life gain whenever it attacks so Pretty much, we are set for life. No pun intended. Oh yeah, Call to the Feast also gives us tokens. And Ajani's Welcome. This one, it's quite decent. It's actually a good combo with the Pride Mate. I say like turn one, this, turn one Welcome, turn two Pride Mate, instant tree tree on turn turn two. Not too bad, but this might be one of the cards that we could get away with not having, perhaps. I would much prefer to have more creatures and I prefer to have more payoff so maybe more pride meets and whatnot. Our tricks are Nightmare's Thirst. This one's okay but we might be better off with just straight removal. Moment of Triumph, Decent um, Combat Trick. We'll see if we can get away with just doing straight removal. We do have three copies of Murder already. Probably needs and a single copy of Raska's Contempt so we're actually quite sold for the most part. We could use a little more. Champion of Dust helps us draw cards, but there might be better ways. I'll see if we can come up with a life gain package that doesn't revolve around vampires, but let's be honest, the vampires are pretty good at sucking life out of their opponents. So standard um, land package and we'll give this one a we'll give this one a quick go. Just export this deck for later. Then we're gonna throw this into the meat grinder that is a regular constructed event. Well, Jungle Secrets was probably the best one to take. This is probably, in my opinion, the second best. Actually, I'm, I personally prefer this over, over Jungle Thirst because we have more removal per se. Sure, it's not as cheap. Murder a tree mana does come at the cost in itself, but we'll make the most out of it. Oh yeah, let's turn, let's turn on the side screen and again I decided I'm not gonna bother censoring names anymore. So let's hope our opponents are in their best behavior. So that's it. Not too bad. Turn. We got a, we got our one two three set up. Could use a payoff, but we might just get away with just straight up vampires. My only beef with this one is that it's probably the least interactive card. 
This game, we're gonna lose the murder. We could actually lose one of our other creatures. Okay, we lost the Legion Lieutenant. So our opponent probably doesn't have any big creatures. Oh, we did get the Paladin of Atonement. This one's a bit weird in that we want to get hit for this to grow big. So it might be better it might be better off in a different deck. So let's just go into combat. Let's see how our oppo opponent's not responding with that. Opponent's some um, holding up like some sort of counter, but it's probably not the three mana counter. Probably just some um, essence scatter. Oh, Fort Swaggle. Okay. So now our opponent pretty much knows what we have. So let's see if we can get our opponent in 19 more turns. Demir Spy Bug, we're definitely gonna off that ASAP. He knows we have the murder, and personally, I am going. I could just take a few hits from this one to grow the Paladin, but. Let's see. Is it worth it? That's the question. Also, our opponent discarded the Guild Gate. Probably not. Probably not worth it. This is very hard to remove otherwise. Let's just um, empty our hand, but. I don't have high hopes for this one. Todd Erasure is. Todd Erasure is. On turn 2 is kind of like. Um, kind of like Jurassic in turn 1. Okay, so. This one's gonna take our paladin. Well, at least it did, at least it took a low low impact card. Unfortunately, we're that's all we have now. In fact, we are down to no impact card. So I'm gonna chalk this up to bad luck. But I guess you can see that we need to have creatures that are independent of the curve, so to speak. Like we don't need to get the game plan going in order to get it to work. Opponent was probably considering cracking this one to um, counter this guy. That that was a scary moment. So no blocks. Still drawing Bob Kiss. Might as well get a second white man at that point. So might as well swing back, but. Let's see what our opponent's got. Whisper Agent. Well, at least we're not dealing with the spy bug anymore. But this is annoying. Then again, I guess this is pretty much what magic is all about. And it gives us an idea that our deck is quite good if our opponent is playing creatures, but we need to we need to have a decent number of of our own as well we can't just keep relying on we can't rely keep on relying on getting the voltron together especially now that our opponent's got a doom destroyer we definitely need better removal probably from the white package so cards at conclave tribunal are great okay so we're gonna get a tree tree but it's gonna do us actually this is a this one's a sort of pseudo co um, combo. He can he can just um, spend two life, boost this guy every one time. He, it might make our opponent consider not draining not draining out all at once. So we're definitely taking nine, taking eleven if he manages to answer our hot, answer our Johnny's pride mate. Problem is we're kind of we're lockstep with the Paladin of Atonement unless we can get a secondary source of life gain. Opponent's going ham on surveil. Oh yeah, this is the this is the one deck that I am yet to do. Okay, so I'm only taking six. He's playing conservatively, which is not bad. Fortunately, I am getting nothing. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn on full control. Oh, it's uh, Our opponent probably could be suspicious. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much conceding at this point. Well, unfortunately, the game did not allow me to tap. Well, I didn't have, I did not have to settle the wreckage, so don't, don't worry about that. I wasn't exactly going for the cheesy play. I know some people who would do that. And to be honest, there are times like, okay, how much do I have to attack with to convince my opponent to attack back? But to, but in that case, I was really, I probably should just tap all the mana first just to, before the attack. Just to really, just to really show an open hand. I guess it's also a good case of I did not say good game. I think people are getting more cynical about it now. Like some people are saying, oh, I'm going to say good game, make my opponent attack into me just to, aha, I got to settle the wreckage after all. Please don't do that. It's already bad enough that humanity is, we, we look at humanity at its absolute worst. The last thing we need to do is reinforce that in what's supposed to be a safe zone of sorts. This one's a much better, so two, so we're definitely keeping this one because we at least have a two into a three into a potential four. And we got both colors of mana, that's also important. Now our opponent is, okay, also in the same game plan. We could use at least one more land. At, if I can get Call and Sanctum Life, that's, I'm, I'm happy with it. I might be willing to just um, trade life instead of trading creatures. Okay, our opponent's definitely all in on the vampire plan. So no blocks. So. Now let's see. If he has the... Okay, he didn't have that, which is good. Because it'd be really sorry if I he blocked the moment of truth. I would have to murder a lowly Dusk Legion Zealot. So I'm now going for the Inspiring Cleric. Next turn, I might do Call to the Feast first. Then Sanctum Seeker. Okay, so... Okay, with four mana, definitely gonna call to the feast first and hold everyone back. I could just swing with the bishop soldier just to convince us convince a light trade of sorts. Now one more mana, I will have moment of triumph back up with the sanctum seeker, which would be great. Opponents just dropping Martyr of Dusk. Okay, we got the mana, so... I guess I can do Vampire Sovereign first, but I kind of want to get a crack in. So, Sanctum Seeker. Combat. Attack. All. So, we start trading a little... Trading a little bit. Now, let's see how he sets up blocks. I'm willing to sack all these tokens. Am I willing to keep the Inspiring Cleric alive? Yeah, I might as well. So I'm not getting paid off for all this life, but otherwise I'm doing reasonably well. I have some... I can murder whatever big threat our opponent has. I can Vampire Sovereign if our opponent doesn't have said big threat. I am willing to... Tr Radiant Destiny, in naming Vampire. So thankfully we can block one of these guys. We're probably just gonna go... We're just probably gonna go up the air. Leave, the, leave these guys down for defense. Now that said, if our opponent does have... Okay. Not the murder, but that's bad enough. So... The life race begins. This, so, this point... Yeah, we'll just drop the Vampire Sovereign. At least it can block one of these guys. Let's offer the trade. It's actually, in our, it's actually to our advantage to simplify the board because... We kind of have more threats, although... Our opponent's threats will be better if he manages to get... Okay, they're much better. Thankfully, it's still three trees, but... This last card could. St 
If it's another Conclave Tribunal, I'll be cross. But I'm definitely putting this one in our deck. Yep, another Conclave Tribunal, so the life swings are real. So I could... The tokens won't do much, so I'm actually gonna just play the Bishop Soldier. Hold everyone back. Let's block first. Okay, he passed that one, so... So now he's at a slight, slight advantage, but not by much. Well, he still has a creature, I think. Okay, back-to-back call to the -back feast. We could use one our own Legion Lieutenant. <laughs> Actually, after all those swings, we... I think some enchantment removal will be great. I miss forsake the word. Wor I I miss forsake the world before um, Ammon Cat. Prob. I can attack, but it's kind of meaningless. He just gains the life back, and I'm down a creature. The opponent's gonna start drawing into cards. Yeah, and definitely the vampire only version is much better. Need to remove this guy ASAP. Come on, knock me. Interesting. It is a way to remove it. So this is really suboptimal. So. Yeah, Nightmares... Yeah, I would rather pay one more mana to... E even the Vicious Hunger would be much would be better. As right now, we're gonna get trampled over because we don't have the... We don't have the means to catch up. Okay, we kinda have the means to catch up now. But we will be trading quite a bit. I suppose you could trade 5 on 5. If he has more Radiant Destinies, we're boned. Uh, screw it. Is there an... We're, we're finished. Okay, this one's still probably bad. And our po How much removal does our opponent have? This, don't tell me this is another Conclave Tribunal. So card draw is also probably in our... Card, card draw is probably in our near future. So... Mm, not, I'll take the damage for now. Maybe having uh, having a sweeper in the pack. Well, it's more for sideboard. The sweeper would be great. So, so no attacks. I'll definitely trade. I'll definitely try trading guys down. But this cannot be Conclave Tribunal number four. Okay, it doesn't look like it. We're probably dead anyway. But let's. Oh, hold on. So we're taking 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Well, we're dead if he has inspiring um, char inspired charge, if he doesn't. So we get a few triggers, but we're... Okay. Whoops. Did I click too much? Okay, that might... We might be in trouble. Oh, we can hide the triggers off to the side. Is that... Oh, it's his... Oh, yikes. Okay, hold on. Let's reconnect as ASAP. That was my bad. Okay, mental note. Don't click too much. I probably should also check my internet at this point. Um, it's near the end of the month. Usually, that's the time I run out of data. Mm I guess I still have data. 
problem is that this one is um, okay. The problem is that this is not the um, reason. Oh, I, I, I probably should be careful about how I click. Yeah, it's still beta, but don't be too eager. Let's see. Okay, take action. And take action. Okay, and I'm still gonna lose at this point. Especially if he has removal for this guy. I used up... I think I used up all my call... Yeah, that's all my call to the feast. He played the Queen's Commission. We got a Legion Lieutenant that's kind of throwaway at this point. One turn too late. Actually, not quite one turn too late. It's just that he had removal. So, no attacks. Yeah, it's quite good game at this point. He's got enough. So, Radiant Destiny. Ooh, Radiant Destiny. All star. So, let's, let's get these out of the way and. Die nobly. So. So, we already fig. I think. I'm already thinking at this point. Agro sideboard control control main board. Hmm, things are not going very well. Could use one game at least, but yes, sometimes these things happen. Worst case scenario, I worst case scenario, I end end the day really early. I might actually just do another one of these, just to make up for the fact that th th I'm having a bad day of sorts. Okay, we are definitely keeping this one. Interesting to note that we are getting the we are getting the um, continuous runs like uh, turn two train to a turn two play turn three play turn three play whatnot. We do we have problems with longevity. As in, we can't guarantee that we'll be able to draw what, what we need. Hmm. Oh. Like that, like that. Work on these gargoyles. Opponents mulled once. Okay, he. Okay, play the planes first. Not that. Sometimes it helps to play the mana that you need more, especially if you're running decks with tons of double mana. So I'll play the second planes into the pride mate. This also obfuscates the nature of this deck. But it's probably no surprise next turn, but at least there's a little suspense of sorts. So, okay. Take action. I kind of question why that's... Easy. Well, there was a point in time that we had a lot of um, abilities be May triggers. The reason for that was so that if a person missed the trigger, um, they didn't have to do this huge... Oh, we have to backtrack all the way at this point. No, it's just missed. So I'm gonna go ag. I'm gonna go aggro with another um, sky march. Basically, start putting some pressure on our opponent. We can just we can murder Slimefoot next turn. And he might have something like a poison tip archer. I'm more okay. So he he. If he has a poison tip archer, it's not this turn. Yeah, okay, he's actually hurting for land. So let's see what he's got. Oh, he's got murder. Okay, he's taken care of that, but at least I can sail up the air. Now I need to note that killing saprolings is not good while he's still here because he can gain life again. So, Can be a bit distracted on two fronts. He has to answer these flyers, but he also has to answer the war leader. Well, he did answer our pride mates. It did its job at least. Okay, so we're gonna lose the war leader, but he still has to answer these guys. So again, no pressure yet. So having more flyers might be a good strategy. have removal backup of sorts yeah this our opponent had a slow start so that's probably the one advantage of having an aggro play if we are fast enough we can beat mid-range 
We just need to have the right creature, so to speak. So that is one thing I need to consider. Do I want to just have a lot of um, two casting cost removal, cast down, seal away? Keep the murders at least. Have basically have a lot of those then just have our life in on top and so guys like Lyra not Elend Okay, I forgot to okay, I'm keeping this one. Who's the knight? There what okay, let's see. Nope, no you know what? I'm gonna play this one anyway. Our opponent might still play a one drop. Otherwise, it's just Bishop Soldier turn to Inspiring Cleric. Okay, this might be a problem. Pass the turn. We definitely have to play the Bishop Soldier. It at least grows up to a 2 4 if he explores once, so that's still manageable. We could just gain. It's gonna grow into a 3 5, so. He ditched the dough, he kept that one on top. So we're gonna take hits. I could play. I would like to do the Inspiring Cleric Nightmares Terse combo. Moment of Triumph. Let's see. Actually, we could do a mo. Okay, let's do this one first. Attack. He, let's see him block with the Jade Light Ranger. He's deciding. He's not gonna block. So we gain 2, we gain 3, we can nuke this one. Or, let's just gain the life now. Dam deal the damage. Deal with deal with the wild growth walker because we know there's another one incoming then we can just Veraska's contempt that one next turn so it'll be a fairer race I suppose bit annoying to have to spend the contempt on the wild growth walker Alternatively, I could just play Inspiring Cleric just to hold off the Jade Light Ranger. Let him get a few triggers in. Actually, you know what? Let's attack with the Bishop Soldier because I'm not going to block with that anytime soon. Also, there... I don't think there's a... No, there is Pax Favor, but he doesn't have the mana to cast that, so... Damage in, gain that life. Play the Inspiring Cleric, gain more life. We're not getting our pay we're not getting our payoffs, no sorry. That's the problem when you only have one resplendent angel and three Ajani's pride mates. Fortunately, those are the only um decent um payoffs now. Crested Sun may rotated out, so that's gone. Okay, so now is a good time to hit Wild Road Walker. It's not the harpooner, but we don't have a flyer yet. It's gonna be annoying soon though. We we will trade with one of the Rangers at least. He's not offering the trade. That's okay. So, hmm. so we can exile this guy. So we gain two life. We can gain one life and nuke this guy. And we can offer a trade. He's not gonna take. So we managed to answer all these cards, but at great cost. Now our opponent just has a big guy that we really have to answer. So we so hold the batons down, hold everything back. The only good thing is that our opponent can't blow us. Well, he has to pay man if he's gonna blow us out from nowhere. Branch Walker, so he's now just getting card value. Unfortunately, I have to give up both clerics. He's got Torn Lieutenant too. Well, that's a mix of. Well, that's actually a good one. Insect Warrior, so is he gonna attack? 
Okay, so I'm gonna block. I don't have any tricks. So I might as well just get rid of that right now. So I'm getting what I don't need. So I'm gonna offer to trade the, with the Merfolk Branch Walker. He's, he'll readily accept. Now, am I willing to trade these tokens for the late ranger? Probably not, because I might be... I can't afford to take a hit or two. I also need our opponent to start um, dr dropping all his guys down. Okay, he got Sky March Blood Letter, so... It will trade with the Crawl Harpooner. So we got that at least. It's actually quite good. It's a good thing we don't don't have any big guys yet. So and our opponent seems to be slightly stuck on mana. So I'm so gonna trade with Sure this one has more. But I it does buy me one turn of trading off at least. Fortunately, I'm now at the stage where, yeah, card draw is really important here. So, quite problem is we don't have that many options in. We have options in white if we do an aggro plan that's basically mentor of the meek. We have options in black that would be things like dark bargain, costly plunder. Yep, our is good. We really need something off the top of our deck. And uh, that's not it. We did use up quite a bit of our removal. We still have a few murders. That's the good news. So, you know what? These guys are not going to block Steel Leaf Champion, so I might as well trade them off now. Not, the trades are not great, but... Okay. Kinda wish I held back, but I'm at least I can block the champion now and I get to draw one card. Okay, not too bad. And if you lost life last turn, which I did, so that one will buff up a little bit. Am I willing to take another hit just to buff this up even more? If I have a wait if I have a chance to get rid of Steel Leaf Champion, I will. My opponent's now sacking down, so he hasn't drawn he hasn't drawn much in the way of mana. Well, he never needed it. We, on the other hand, we need it. So that's a problem. So let's pass the turn. Opponent's gonna draw a heck of a lot of cards. Just okay. He's got his fourth land. He's got his virtual fifth mana now. He's got a trashing Brontodon. So that. That one is still a thing, so that might be... Okay, so I will block this one. Yeah. Okay, Legion Lieutenant, that's a thing. Still can't... I'm gonna have to take hits from the Trashing Brontodon at least, but I am able to hold some of these other guys back for a while. Opponent seems to be getting his mana groove back, so I'm expecting. Oh, Vivian! I was gonna say I was expecting a Gigantosaurus, but okay, let's be honest, cost. Vivian's better. Ooh, there's the payoff. So three, four, five, six, plus five, eleven. So he needs one more, either one more mana or one more power. He's holding back. We're kind of holding back a bit, but we might have to take a huge hit. Come on, murder would be nice about that. Also need to start attacking Vivian Reed, which is a problem in itself. 
draw Jade Light Ranger too. Okay, second Legion Lieutenant. We're bu we're beefing up the board, but not in the way we kind of need it. If our opponent um, gets an emblem, it's all over for us. We have no way of interacting anymore. We used up our only exile spell, so we definitely want more Vraska's Contempts. Yeah, we're gonna go control with this one. Wonderful Branch Walker. So our yeah, so we're looking for things like Cleansing Nova. I guess we can still play with Legion's Landing. If we getting getting to flip it should not be a problem, I guess. But yeah, we want to. I think we want to do a control version this time. Paladin of Atonement is not too bad. A, too bad to fit in that one. You will be taking damage early, so it's this one is fine as an early drop. Ajani's Pride Mate is still fine. Instead of Ajani's Welcome, since we'll be playing fewer creatures, we probably will go with Fountain of Renewal. Of course, Settle the Wreckage, Cleansing Nova, those all go in. Wow. This is our... Did he manage to get all four? No. One... Oh no, that's good. He drew the second one, but he held back on it for the longest time. He's only casting it now because that's very that's dedicated discipline. He didn't cast it immediately because he didn't have a real payoff yet. Now, opponent should be. opponent's not attacking. We still got called to the feast, so that's something. But unfortunately, yeah, vigilance trample indestructible. We're not gonna win. Now, our opponent might give us one more turn, but we'll see. If he cracks it, it's a good game for us. Yep, cracked it. That's a good game. See the look on your face right now. Okay. Okay, I know none of this really matters, but what the what the hey? Yeah, I already can see at this point. Though he could still have a decent trick. So we got one win off a uh, off an opponent with a slow start. So, but otherwise, this deck did not do so well. Probably because, no, the aggro plan is okay, especially if you run into decks like, say, Mono Red. We just had the ill fortune of not running into such. Oh, made sure I died quickly. There you go. So, that's an ignoble end for this run. So, yeah, we're gonna try to switch this to a more controlling package. If not for the main deck, at least it's a good idea to work out how to sideboard if you run into this kind of matchup. So... Okay, we got the Consolation Mythic. Direction Scriptures. Sort of removal for us? We'll see, but we're definitely claiming this one. So, we're gonna take a little bit of a quick break, and I'll be... Well, when I s while I switch over, so... Okay. There you go. So this is, um, th uh, this is the deck as it looks like right now. Let's g give it a quick analysis. So as you can see, yeah, decent even split. We have a nice decent curve. It's an ev it only maxes out at 5, which is not a bad plan. So, but that said, we need to... Find pay. We need to find better payoffs. So we're looking for whenever you gain life. So definitely up. As I said, I'm dropping the welcomes. Probably replacing it with fountain of renewal. Dropping the bishop soldiers too. Ashes of the abhorrent. Can't cast spells. Uh, decent sideboard, I guess. 
Dawn of Hope. This is also our uh, this is also our other payoff. It's a way to draw cards and generate creatures. We're definitely putting this one in. So if we're going for the control plan, this is it. Famish Paladin. Mm, there is a co there is a combo in standard. It's a bit unwieldy, but if you can manage. But I guess you can manage it, I guess. Let's see. Diamond Mares, no. Imperial Ceratops. What is this? I think it's Enrage Gain Life. Yeah, not that's not what we need. Lich's Mastery, no, we don't want that. Definitely want Sanctum Seeker, but if we drop the Vampire Plan, that might be questionable already. We're unfortunately not playing with a, with a, with a Vraska Planeswalker, but... That would be that ha would actually be really great for our deck. And whispering snitch. Whenever you surveil, okay. This is the one problem with the deck right now. Barely any payoffs. So our payoffs is literally a Johnny's Pride Mate and Resplendent Angel. That's it. Those are the only reasons to play life the deck as a life gain deck right now. I guess we can keep the Epicure of Blood because that's also our other reason. I'm definitely not adding another one. So let's drop the cheaper packages so Inspiring Cleric goes. I'll keep the Leonin War Leader because it's still a decent army in the can. The Legion Lieutenants will go to the sideboard. Upping the Vraska's Contempt by at least one more. The Vampire Sovereign can go. Sanctum Seeker... We're not... Okay, we're not into this anymore so that goes. Nightmare's Thirst goes also. So, f first we're upping the Isolated Chapels. We can drop the Forsaken Sanctuaries at this point. Also, we need ways to draw cards. I already added the Dawn of Hope. Arch of Araska is also another way to draw cards. So, let's see what. We're definitely adding Legion's Landing. And I'm avoiding the vampire package beca only because I did it before. Actually, there is another one we can do. This is not the best deck for this. I believe the better deck for this one is still green white, but. No, green white, not the deck I built last time, but a deck based on convoke and tokens. But we could do a divine visitation plan. This one's a. So this is a mythic, so I'm leaving it at one. But we do have a number of um, token generators, so I'll definitely keep that. So let's drop the moment of triumph, keeping the legion. A second one's not so bad, actually. There's also profane proce procession. That's probably a sideboard card, to be honest. Pound's gonna go. So probably up the war leaders by one. Up the murders, cast down. Probably about two of those. Actually, let's see. Let's first check life link. I know there are some of the bigger, wo bigger ones like okay, not Arvad. We could do a historic version, but there is no. If you play a historic spell, you gain life. But there are a decent number of them um, historic. Cre um, historic knights actually we could do a knight package yeah elended the dusk rose that's also our is this the one no we're looking for the f whenever another creature dies put no not this deck healers healers hawk to convoke that's also a plan okay definitely adding lyra she pays for the she pays for the resplendent angel by herself Maverin Fane. I'm putting this guy in the sideboard because we're still potentially keeping the vampire plan. At least on the side. No, not the bloodstain, not Queen's Agent, not Queen's Commission. We still have the sadis Sadistic Sky Marcher, Flying Life Link. No. We actually want the blue black one. That, But that's f not here here or there sanctum spirit that is a payoff but it's a poor payoff at that triumph of gerard 
Flying first strike lifelink and it boosts our creatures. We don't have a real historic payoff. I'll check for that one. Yeah, Vona Butcher of Magan definitely playing this one. If we're gonna this is also another reason to gain a lot of life. So let's also check Conclave Tribunal. I will definitely put this one in over Hyro Hyromancer's Cage, but it's just a matter of how many. Probably two main, two side. If we if we dump all the if we add all the other guys, then we can add more. Champion of Dusk. It's kind of a payoff. It's kind of a card draw. I might actually just want to turn Dawn of Hope. Okay, first let's drop some of the odd ones like Herald of Fate. Keeping the Epicurus a bit wonky, but okay, let's drop the Dawn. Let's drop the Champion. Okay, I just said I wouldn't. Let's add Fountain of Let's add some Fountains of Renewal because that one gains us life and if we need to crack it to draw a card we will. And for most of these decks we don't we're not playing enough creatures to gain a ton of ton of life off the bat. Okay, so sideboard destroy and enchantment. Get a, we're gonna get a lot of green cards here. Bounty agent no let no. Oh yeah, we could use some we could use some of these guys in the sideboard actually. So okay, hold on. Let's put these in the main cleansing nova. So I'm gonna drop the epicure that's a bit wonky. Cleansing ray can destroy a vampire or enchantment. The mystified hits enchantments only. It's pretty much just invoke the divine at this point. Yeah, it's invoke the divine. I'm not too happy with that one. I would much rather just conclave tribunal the offending enchantment. So let's also add settle the wreckage because it is one way to rem get some removal. Ritual of Soot is also another removal and it doesn't play well with our tokens. It doesn't play well with Resplendent Angel or Sky March Blood Letter. Actually, that one's gotta go too. I think at this point, the Profane Procession is gonna go to the top here. So we need to have enough removal. I think four might be too many. Let's just make a tree entry. Probably want some additional removal in the form of seal away. And okay, got so call to the feast is our emergency crack, I guess. Let's also add some mentor. Two copies in the site. No, not Maverin Fane. I'll check. I'm gonna fill this out first, just to see if we have an idea. Then I'm gonna check the historic the historic package, quote unquote, see if that works. So, Maverin Fane, mentor of the meek, seal away. Forerunner cost three, so yeah, we can play that one. We can use it to tutor for Vona. We can use it to tutor. Yeah, that's it. We probably need a we need tutor for Maverin if we put it in. Probably need a better vampire target. Actually, we have other vampire removals, sort of. We could use the Bishop of Binding. It's very soft, but if our opponent doesn't have much removal, it's just dependent on creatures. This is actually very good, a very good one for us to use. So yeah, sure, I'll put that one in. Put I put that in the last time in the other deck too. So this is removal heavy. This is removal heavy in a sense we don't have any ways to... We're pretty much just dependent on getting rid of our opponent's planeswalkers. Actually, this is probably a good time to put the spyglass. Because this is the w one deck that will not be able to handle, handle planeswalkers once we run out of um, Vraska's Contempts. 
So Sorcerer Spyglass probably just yeah, let's just drop the Legion Lieutenant by one and drop the Conclave Tribunal by one. So let's take a look what the deck looks like, analyze it now. So otherwise it's looking like yeah, the Pride Mate we, we have a slight er, we have a slight aggro package but it leans towards control near the end. So this is a, this is a weird um control life gain deck. We have s some removal but not that great. In fact, there are better removal options like Eldest Reborn but we need to have them cheaper. I probably just dropped the mentor. That one's a bit wonky. Yeah, we're depending on life gain. Let's just go all in on that. Let's just add the Eldest Reborn. Then let's let's also do a check on spells that trigger off historic in white or black. So probably could use another fountain, I guess. So Archaeologist gets gets artifacts, that's a no. Board the weather lights. Gets a historic card out of the top 5, we don't want that. Lingering Phantom comes back every time we cast, that's actually not bad. Teshar gets a creature with mana cost 3 or less, that's just a pride mate. And Resplendent Angel, so that's that's a thing. Sarah Disciples, and so no Sanctum Spirits, and no. Cabal Paladin's also another way to pay off. Artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. So, Legion's Landing is a legendary enchantment that will trigger it. Hmm. We, this one's a control package. We could do an ep. Do we have time? Okay, I'm ba I'm barely cutting it. So I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna do both decks at once right now. So first, let's fix that mana. Definitely need more white. So. Actually, I'm, in that case, I might want to trim the... No, Murder is pretty much in. That's a, def a guarantee. Yeah, 3 Murder, 3 Cast Down is not too bad. I could just make it 4 Cast Down, 2 Murder. Might, But we have 3... But we're starting the deck with 3 Murders ready. If you manage to get enough Cast Downs, go ahead. That might be a better bet, considering we're making the deck more white than black. Please don't take that out of context. So let's adjust that to 14 and 6. Also a very good excuse not to add unclaimed territory here. Okay, so this is a bit so this is our mana base. So this is um version so this is version one of Eternal Thirst. So let's now examine the night combo. It was in vogue back in the when it was just Dominaria, but not, but now it's kind of fallen out of favor. Let's see if there's still some life into it. So we'll analyze this deck again. We'll save it. Then we'll. So we're gonna get both decks at once. So let's save this one. Okay, then copy the deck because we are making. We're, we're gonna examine now to see if we can do a historic version. This might be a bit more fun, I suppose, but we'll analyze that. Then we'll start getting cutting cards down. So, keeping the Pride Mates, keeping the Dawn of Hope, keeping the Divine Visitation, keep. Keeping the profane, keeping the resplendent. Th those are the ones we're keeping. Now let's look for. So we're looking for artifacts and okay. Actually, let's look at sagas. Those are probably the. So okay, we're also gonna get the cards that trigger off them. Chainer's torment gains us life. It's a decent payoff and it gives, that gives us a nightmare horror creature. But my experience has always been very poor with it. If you're, if you. If you feel like um, you're a bit adventurous, I go with this one, I guess. Fall of the Tran. Good way to shut... I guess you can use this to shut down the control deck, but it also sh it also shuts us down, so not a good idea. 
Guardians of Koilos can be used to reset and also triggers as well. History of Benalia definitely shoe in on this one. So okay, let's let's start by removing the okay, let's remove the that conclave for now. Let's remove Leonin War Leader. Let's keep the Sentinel the wreckage, but we'll remove the call to the feast. So History of Benalia is in. If you can get a second one, we could just use a tragic poet um cycle, I guess. Right of Bells and Lock just gives us a ton of creatures. This is more for I guess triggering Mentor of the Meek and whatnot. Actually this is a good way to trigger vi divine visitation too. Pyrection scriptures. Also a decent way of destroying creatures, but you're probably better off with um um ritual of soot sanctum spirits is there a disciple eldest reborn's very probably a good addition that will probably go main deck okay so that's it for this that's it for sagas now let's look for knights so shouldn't be should just get shouldn't that be many off color ones i guess we can start with okay ariel's also a good knight makes more knights the tokens can be converted to angels. Okay, let's go with that one. I probably dropped the cast downs at this point. Let's add one Arvad. We could do the Grace and Malice package. It's also a good excuse to put um, Radiant Destiny. But let's see what other knights we got. Benelish Marshall's a decent one, except for the triple white. Champion of Dusk is actually a knight, but it only triggers off Vamp. Va its own trigger only works on vampires, so maybe. Danita Capashan is a knight. Elenda is also a knight, but I, she's probably the one mythic I don't want to put in. Deathless Ancient is a knight, but you need to gain life, I think, or pay life. Oh, you need to tap vampires, that's worse. So Josu Vess is a knight. Also legendary, so let's add that one. Quende, not so much. So probably gonna put the Cabal Paladin because that's A. What also a knight two actually triggers off historic. Tishar probably is also a good way to trigger if we're gonna get back Danita or Dajani's Pride Mates. Kinda could be could be annoying enough. To Midnight Reaper is also a knight. We could put that in. Basically allows us to gain, um, take advantage of the life, I guess. Mm. Okay, skipping those. Oatsworn Vampire. I think this one comes... You may cast if you gain life. Yeah, this is annoying enough, but enters the battlefield tap. We'll consider. That's worth considering, I guess. And hmm, I never I forgot about Valiant Knight. What does this do? Other knights you control get plus one plus one. Nice. Okay. A bit pricey, and we don't re and we're not really after that part of the deal. Now let's look for legendaries. I I'll come back to the I'll come back to Knight of Malice and whatnot if I need them. But let's look for legendary. We're gonna get a ton of those, so we need to narrow it down. Johnny's a nice fit, I guess. Planeswalker. The Baird is just only there to be annoying. I guess it's a, I guess it's a good way to stem the tide. We don't exactly have a shooter, so actually I might. Since we're not running that many vampires, and we dropped the call to the feast. Yeah, the pack. This package doesn't make sense anymore. All this reborn still makes sense. In fact, I would put that up here. I'll definitely put the Conclave Tribunal here. Drop the Bishop of Binding. Demon Lord Bells and Lock. We do get a copy of this. It's a good way to get tr get certain cards. I might I think I might prefer Doom Whisper over that one over that demon though. I don't think there is, we might do we have enough demons to okay. Isaret is also a good fit. 
basically a good way to get creatures back. That touch doesn't hurt too. Evra Halcyon. Nice, but I feel like it's a bit expensive for what we're asking for. Liliana untouched by death. You know, we're not running zombies. Wait. Maverin's interesting as especially if we we probably should put Tashar here for sure. Shall I even without the green is a good fit? Yeah, definitely going to put Tashar here because we do have a decent number of guys we can get back. And... Wait. Vile Offering, we could get there. Urza's Ruinous Blast is probably our better sweeper. Yeah, let's see. Okay, but okay. Here's the th okay. Here's the theory craft. We get we have a ton of um legendaries. The only thing it triggers right now is Tashar, so not so great. We probably should just put um Cabal Paladin. It is a knight. It does trigger stuff too. That's unfortunately it. The Avena Trapper, yeah, taps down creatures, I guess, but it's only on offense. Yeah, this might be worth. No, I'll just do with the Cabal Paladin. Okay. Or you know what? So let's take a look. We have. This one creates creatures. This one creates creature tokens, I mean. This one creates tokens. Pri this one, okay, makes tokens, but not realistic. Mi do do doesn't matter. Hmm. A second, a second history might be a better fit here. Second history or fort fountain. Don't want to... But we do need an early aggro package, so we will put in all those um, cheap knights. So, Knight of Grace. Knight of Malice. I think we're more white, so we could do 4 and 2, but... Let's see. Knight of New Build... No... There is the Ben there is the Ben Elish Honor Guard, but that's probably not worth it. Okay, let's clear that. Okay, I think we cleared way too much. So mm, concave right here. Oh yeah, cast down. We should move some of those here. So miscast out. That one is so flexible. So well, this reborn is a nice fit here. So the idea on this one is get get a legendary. Do, get the legendary down. Get enough legendaries, in fact, to trigger off things like Urza's Ruinous Blast or or take advantage of um, Arvad the Curse. Ba this one's a bit wonk. This one's a bit wonkier, to be honest. Yeah, this one's just cute for being for the sake of being cute. I'm let's well, put a shot, I guess. Let's yeah, balance out the seal away, place with another cast on. Okay, let's analyze this deck. Not too this one is some. Um, this one's even weirder. Okay, so probably thirteen and seven. This this one is friendlier for double black. And we still and we still keep the curve more or less. Actually, the other deck probably 
Yeah, also kept the curve too. So this one is um, based off historic triggers, but this one's really more of a wild experiment. I, I'll be honest, the, the first deck is probably the better one. But heck, it, sometimes you, you get your creative juices flowing. So we'll save this one. You, and as to which one's better, mm, between these two and the first Vampire's deck, actually, why don't you tell me in the comments? Let, um, you, you guys decide wh which one is better. So that So that's it for the this episode of the Magic Arena run. If you liked what you see saw, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be honest, this um not too I wasn't too happy with this one. The deck does better in free play. Me I'm starting to think that competitive constructed now is really competitive now, so you you can't just go in with a stock deck expecting to go guns blazing. But we get to learn what are the things that we need to fix up. What are the things that need to improve? So, that's that. So, do, so like, subscribe, note, turn on notifications. And thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you guys again next time.